VS Code's hex editor extension lets you view binary data while debugging JavaScript code. Here I've already installed the extension, so let's take a look at this feature in action. So I'm going to switch to a node file over here, and I'm going to press F5 to start debugging it. You can see that this script is making a simple fetch request to example.com and then looking at the results as a array buffer here, so as a big blob of binary data. If I hover over the data variable here, you can see that sure enough, it is an array buffer, but it's very hard to understand what the contents of this array buffer actually mean. So I could go and try to uh, do a slice of this array buffer or look at individual ranges of it, but it's, it's very hard to actually browse. And that's where the hex editor is going to become quite useful. So let's again, open up the debug view over here. And over in the variable section, I'm going to find the variable that I'm interested in. So I want the data variable here, which again is an array buffer. And because I have the hex editor extension installed, I can click on this little zeros and ones icon over here to open a representation of that array buffer inside of the hex editor. So I'll do that. I'm going to actually make this view full screen so we have a little bit more space to work with. And you can see that now we're viewing the contents of that array buffer inside of the hex editor. So remember that we were viewing the results of an, um, a request to example.com. So we should see like an HTML page here. Sure enough, if we look over at the decoded text, we can see that this does look like HTML content. So we can just browse through over here and we get a nice view of both the original binary data along with the decoded text over here. Now, besides offering a nicer view, all of the other hex editor features still work. So if I go and I hover over a byte over here or decoded text over here, you can see the corresponding byte over on the left side. I can go and make selections. I can do copy and paste, all those type of things. And if I switch over to the hex editor view here in the sidebar, I also get a nice view where I can go and see the different representations of this data. I'll zoom out a little bit so we have kind of a better understanding of what's going on. But you can see all these different interpretations of the binary data I'm looking at. Again, this is probably not very helpful when you're looking at text content like we are in this case, but if you are dealing with an actual binary format, so maybe image data, for example, this can be really invaluable for making sure that the response matches what you're, look, you're expecting and identifying any errors within that binary data.